Lambs of God is the provocative new four-part original Foxtel series based on the best-selling Australian novel by Morel Day, which was an immediate hit, published not only here to acclaim, but also in several countries around the world. It was praised for its universal resonance, its strange interweaving of the comic and the mystical, and its acute view of women and men, worldliness and transcendence. Though some conservative critics were disturbed by its presentation of corrupted Catholic liturgy and a bastardised sort of Catholicism. Well, unperturbed by such criticism, it's been adapted for this new cinematic age of television by the accomplished Sarah Lambert, who amongst other dramas created the smash hit Love Child. And the director is the prodigiously talented Geoffrey Walker, whose stellar career has been marked by its diversity and includes episodes of not only Modern Family, Rake and Jack Irish, but the recent quite brilliant ABC drama Riot. Cinematographer and Academy Award nominee Don McAlpine, think X-Men Origins, Wolverine, Moulin Rouge, Romeo and Juliet, makes his first foray into television drama as director of photography. And what a wonderfully gothic story Morel Day has presented them with. A magic realist web of religious symbolism and illusion that at times teeters over into Stephen King territory. Sisters Iphigenia, Margarita and Carla, played by Essie Davis, Ann Dowd and Jessica Barden, are all that remain of an enclosed order living in a ruined monastery on a remote island, tending their only flock, the Agnes sisters, sheep, named for nuns who have died. The rhythm of life is seasonal and canonical, washing day, shearing day, Christmas, Lent. It's hard to say what year it is until young father Ignatius, a wonderfully pompous Sam Reed, arrives with a cellular phone to assess what he thought was abandoned property on behalf of the church. I'm not a parish priest, he tells them rather grandly. I am the bishop's secretary. The story then takes on a darker tone when the nuns realise that the priests' plans threaten them and their idyllic existence with their lambs. You want us to leave? Quite. Like the novel, the series weaves together an impressive array of storytelling traditions, classical, biblical, crime, Celtic and fairy tale. And while producer Jason Stevens says the project was pitched to Foxtel as feral nuns in a monastery, it's a complex, beguiling, and darkly humorous drama, unlike anything produced in this country before. I think that is such a wrong pitch, you know, feral nuns in a mon monastery, because to tell you the truth, I mean, it's a hoary old tale and it would be so easy to get this wrong, but the yes. pitch of it is so fabulous. I think Geoffrey Walker's done a fabulous job. Always love what Don McAlpine does. Chris Kennedy's design is fabulous as well. But the talent in front of camera too, because there's Daniel Henschel, Damon Harriman, uh, John Bell's in there, you know. I well, mean, these are all a surprise, these characters, because they're not there at the start. No, it's I know. It's really just the four characters to begin with. No. The three nuns and, and uh, the uh, the priest who comes from the mainland. And he's terrific, Sam Reid, I think. He's, he's very good, isn't he? You yes. know, because, I mean, is he lucky or very unlucky? I don't know. But it it just, you know, to pull this off and pull it off as well as they have. Because uh, the tone is so complex, it's, isn't it's, it? Well, you have to pitch it, otherwise you're just going to laugh it off the screen. Mm. Uh, and the fact is that I w felt spoilt because I was able to watch all four, four episodes. You've actually watched the lot already. One, I could not stop. Yeah. I loved it so much. Honestly, I think I'd get this four and a half stars. Well, I'm giving it four and a half as well. I was very, very impressed with this. You must pray for your salvation. You were the one who needs to pray, sister. How did you approach this? Did you have much time to research it or do you like to research or do you just I jump into like things? I do like to research, or? but Sarah had gave us a lot of research materials that we could read. She'd done a, um, a lot of dramaturgy for us and we, while we were reading and learning and watching uh, lots of films and documentaries about becoming a nuns. Anne Dowd, who plays Sister Margarita, actually has several nuns in her family oh, oh. and has played a nun many times in her life. <laughs> um, so she was also a wealth of knowledge. Um, but I didn't grow up in a particularly religious house. We, I went to Sunday school and had those kind of understandings of fantastic stories. But um, we did a lot of that, of uh, research about, you know, daily life in a monastery and the vows that we had taken to never, ever, ever leave 
this monastery, colour. to never step outside of it. We are um, an enclosed order, but it's um, it's a really unusual and a tale that you will never guess where it's going to take you. Now, you mentioned the actresses that you work with. There's also a, a fabulous young director in Jeffrey Walker. Absolutely. Uh, tell us about him, because he's a bit of a genius, I think, this well, young guy. Well, he is a bit of a genius. He's very clever. Um, he's incredibly calm and uh, relaxed and a, was a wonderful kind of pivotal, balanced um, person in the middle of uh, a, a, quite a complicated story and balance between mm. the three sisters and Father Ign Ignatius. Jeffrey was really wonderful at, at um, it was very light-hearted and easy and of course he got the fantastic Don McAlpine to... Don McAlpine, the great director of photography, one of the great world's great Absolutely. cinematographers. Fantastic. You're lucky to be working with him. He's, so lucky. Yeah. And it, but it was a really delightful, um, pleasant, easy feeling on set. And Don was always, um, I mean, the, the, the sets themselves were so beautifully designed for the world of the camera and for lighting sources, which were nearly entirely, nighttime was nearly entirely lit by candlelight. Nice. And, um, Don was fantastic at, you know, placing can you come and place candles <laughs> in there. A few more candles. A bit more candle, and then we just need to bring that candle a bit closer up here, Essie. <laughs> you know, we'll stand a bit closer to the wall. We need a reflection. <laughs> and um, I think uh, that it was Bet Jeffrey and Don and Sarah Lambert together made the made set a very pleasant and mm. easy place to be. And I guess because we were doing a lot of work beforehand and research and we were all learning how to spin and knit and nice. because we're often telling stories and knitting like we should be knitting mm. as if we've done it for 20 mm. years and um, so we were having intensive knitting spinning <laughs> <laughs> lessons which um, we all got pretty good mm. at I have to say mm -hmm. and um, and I think that um, being, being together and learning something all together really also helped bond us as a, a, a group of people who had lived at least the last 23 years together. And that level of communication without needing to communicate and just companionship and working together was really important, I think. Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy world. Do all men bring trouble? We sisters have our secrets too. Secrets? Give me the strength to forgive, but if vengeance be thine, all oh, let me be worthy.